Management is part of a month-long series entitled The Ascent of Women, which will explore the evolving status of women and their lives today. Find us on the internet at commonwealthclub.org. To put today's discussion into historical context, as of 2009, women constitute only 16% of executive and board positions in the financial services industry and less than 10% in, in mutual fund management. There are approximately 8,000 mutual funds in the U.S., to put that in perspective. On this panel, we have four women who have achieved breakthrough success in this male-dominated industry. In the next hour, we will get some insights as to how they do it and perhaps how more women can join their ranks. So, to introduce the panelists, Melody Hobson is president of Ariel Investments, a Chicago-based money management company, and she's also chairwoman of the board of trustees of the Ariel's Mutual Fund. She joined the company in 1991 after graduating from Princeton. Melody is a nationally recognized voice on financial literacy and regular contributor to ABC's Good Morning America, and also to many financial journals such as Block Enterprise, Money, and Forbes, she sits on several boards and is very active in the community. Ivka Kalis Bistrogi is the portfolio manager of the Pax World International Fund. Before joining Pax World, Ivka was a senior portfolio manager at State Street Global Advisors and Barracks. She has a master's degree from the Fletcher School of Law and an MBA from INSEAD in France and attended Harvard as an undergrad. She also speaks five languages. Luz Padilla is head of Emerging Markets Fixed Income and senior portfolio manager for Double Line Capital, a Los Angeles-based bond management firm. Prior to Double Line, she was a managing director at TCW, where she headed the firm's Emerging Markets Group and served as the lead portfolio manager. She earned an MBA from Berkeley and attended Stanford as an undergraduate. Mary Ellen Stanick is Managing Director and Chief Investment Officer of Robert Baird & Company. Mary Ellen has 30 years of investment experience managing fixed income portfolios. Prior to Baird, Mary Ellen was President and CEO of First Star Investment Research and Management Company and Director of Fixed Income. Mary Ellen attended Marquette University and earned her MBA from the University of Wisconsin. So I'd like to start with a few questions to get to know each of your personal stories a little bit. So if you could each let us know, why did you choose this industry, and what should you do to stand out or differentiate yourself from others? If would you like to start? Sure. Um, actually, in my case, it was uh, a lot of serendipity as opposed to a direct choice. I actually started out as a biology major as an undergrad and found out that I didn't actually like spending a lot of time in a lab and so um, moved on to do a graduate degree at the Fletcher School and when I graduated from there the Iron Curtain fell down and so I, uh, I went to work in Prague, which is my native city, uh, to work on privatization and that got me into management consulting and al excuse me, along the way um, I had two children and realized that management consulting actually was not a sustainable career with the family only because I was traveling five days a week and felt like everything was falling apart around me and so I decided that I needed to make a big career shift and out of the blue, someone who I had worked with in consulting called me up. Um, he was working for Putnam Investments and said, you know, we're looking for a new metals and mining analyst and I think you'd be perfect for the job and so I went and interviewed and that's how I started in the business. It was complete serendipity um, in, in terms of getting in and I found that the job worked really well in terms of in terms of how I how I think, in terms of my ADD, so it's actually a good job if you can't concentrate on one thing any, at any point in time, but you can focus on a lot of things all at once. Um, and all of the analytical background that I had for my biology degree, uh, it, it all sort of just fit with the career, plus uh, results are pretty much all that matter in this business. And so it's not a nine to five job, it's, it's really all about uh, delivering for performance returns, and so that really worked well for me. And so I'm not sure uh, what the skill set was, but I think that in terms of the analytical background, having a very broad uh, perspective on, on how I look at problems, and also 
just having had some great mentors in the business that sort of saw some of my abilities and pushed me forward or, or took me from being an analyst at Putnam to being a portfolio manager at PAX. I had the good fortune of meeting the person who started my firm who also was a Princeton um, graduate. He graduated 11 years before I did. I met him when I was leaving to go to Princeton and I quickly realized that he was this very unique person in the investment management industry. And that he started our firm when he was 24 years old and his father had given him stocks every birthday and every Christmas instead of toys. <laughs> and he said in the beginning it was not very fun and he'd run <laughs> to the tree and the only thing he'd have was a white envelope. But the great thing was that his father let him keep the dividend checks and his father was a child of the depression. And uh, he said that he was a 12 year old with cash flow. <laughs> and so if he wanted to buy a candy bar, he could buy a candy bar. But instead he decided to reinvest the dividend and became obsessed with the stock market. So I heard this story when I met him. I was you know, leaving to go to college. He had started the firm. And I realized he was someone special. And he was so unique because he was black. And there were no other people in the industry when he started Ariel who were of color in terms of African American. So we were the first minority owned investment management firm to start in 1983. And so I met him and I thought, this is an interesting business. And you know, I never learned about the stock market and I've never even heard it talked about at school and maybe I'll learn about it at Princeton and of course I didn't. And so I came to him one summer and said, could I be an intern? And I became an intern at the firm, fell in love with the business and decided that's what I would do. The next summer I went and worked at T. Rowe Price and I came back and I've had one job my entire life. <laughs> so I worked at Ariel for 19 years and I'm 41 years old so I joke, if you count when I was an intern, it's 21 years. So half my life I've worked at the company, which has been fun and greatly rewarding. But when I think about what has allowed me, I don't know if I would say stand out, but maybe to distinguish myself in the industry, I think it's been two things for me. I think one has been my work ethic, which I don't think is very different than a lot of women because we hustle. We work really, really, really hard, and I always just had an incredible capacity for work. And I could work for hours and hours. I'd sleep under my desk in the early years of working at Ariel. We had a joke at Ariel that my business partner told me I had to go to the gym. And I said, um, he said, I'm worried about your health. You have to go to the gym. And he said, if you don't go to the gym, I'm not giving you a bonus. So I said, you can't do that. He said, bonuses are discretionary. And so then, of course, I became obsessed with the gym. So um, my work ethic was something that I think really helped a lot. And I was willing to take all the assignments no one wanted. And then secondly, I think one of the things that truly made a difference for me were communication skills. We always ask people at Ariel, what is your genius? What is your towering strength? What is something you do better than anyone else? And in my firm, I'm one of the best communicators that we have, so that made